guess where we are? Tokyo! We're at the airport now, we're heading over to our apartments through this bus where I'll stay tonight. We're heading to our Airbnb apartment in Rapongi. It took us about an hour to reach, but the wait was totally worth it. After them, we realized that we had not had our dinner, so we decided to skip dinner and have supper instead. We looked for a place to eat nearby, and it was surprisingly really convenient. In less than 10 minutes, we found an incredibly nice restaurant. It was called Izakaya. It was a casual place that serves food to accompany their drinks. We had a great time there, and after we ate, we called it a night. We took a 10 minute taxi ride from our apartment to the famous Tsujiki fish market really early in the morning. This was recommended to us by our host. Alright, we're here now at Tsukiji fish market. It's uh, 5 a.m. Tokyo time and it's already so bright. We are here to, uh, to see gigantic fishes being auctioned as well as to eat live sea food, fresh sea food. Yeah, food, sea, oh, food. We have some tips for you provided by locals there if you want to visit Tsujiki Fish Market. Tip 1. Come very very early because we missed the auction even though we were there at 5 a.m. Tip 2. You don't have to queue for the most famous restaurants unless you have the time. Even the locals agree that the other restaurants are of equal or even superior quality. Tip 3. Enjoy the fresh seafood. It is absolutely amazing. Wow, banana. Excuse me. No filming here. No filming. <laughs> <laughs> I can't we took a train down to Harajuku, a place which is normally packed full of people, but not today, because it's 7 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I'm just taking a photo of Jesse right here from the US. We are now at the robot show. None of us have seen this show before. It was pretty jaw dropping and weird. Ruka, our host, gave the same comments. So it's not just us who find it weird. The show consisted of dancing, music, lights, robots, projections, and fun. Epic is probably the right word. One, two, three. Sea Bay Hot. People Mountain, People Sea. Sun Lun Hai. Unfortunately, Eden and Terence needed to go back to Singapore before us. 
We headed back to their apartment to pack their stuff and say goodbye. Bye. After they left, we went to Mr. Canso, another place that was recommended by our host. We are now at Mr. Canso now and it's a Canso bar. How cool is that? See what they have to offer. Mr. Kanso is a canned food restaurant. They have a wide range of canned food for us to pick from. They even had rice. The boss gives us Japanese food. Yay! Not bad. It's a little bit bigger than what I expected. Everybody, can you feel the groove? And we've come to the end of this trip. It was a spectacular experience for us. This is the first time we've traveled overseas as a team together. And nothing could have been done without your support. A huge shout out to Airbnb for making this happen. The apartment was absolutely awesome. Wow, banana. If you guys are heading overseas soon, grab this $33 coupon for Airbnb as a gift from us.